Hello everyone, Pastor Kenton Perrin here. Hope all is well with you and I hope you're staying strong in the Lord. I want to share a passage of scripture with you. Um, John chapter 3 verse 16. This is going to be your word for today, your rhema word. The Bible said, and it's a popular passage of scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Christmas is just around the corner. Um, we normally look forward to being with family, friends, loved ones. We look forward to taking a break. We're going to be doing a lot of eating, a lot of drinking, a lot of merrymaking. Um, you know, it's, it's a very festive time. When you look on TV, when you look at all types of advertisements around us, people are vying for attention to shop here or shop there or buy this and buy that. Um, so there is a heavy emphasis on, um, you know, material things. Uh, there's a commercialization, um, heavy commercialization this time of year. And, um, you know, for those who, uh, for those of us who grew up in North America, you know, there's this heavy emphasis on Santa Claus and he's going to bring us gifts and his elves and we set up Christmas trees and all these different things. Um, for the Christian, for Seventh day Adventist Christian, and many Christians as well, um, we don't necessarily subscribe to this idea of Christmas. Uh, we don't subscribe to the idea that, um, you know, we are looking forward to seeing Santa Claus or believing that, um, you know, somebody's going to come into our houses when we're sleeping in order to put um, wonderful things in, in um, our stockings or things of that nature. As Christians, um, we believe that Jesus Christ wasn't born on the 25th of December. Or let me say, Seventh-day Adventist Christians, we don't believe or we don't subscribe to the idea that Jesus Christ was born on the 25th of December. But we do celebrate the fact, or we take this time to celebrate that he did come into this world and God was the one who orchestrated this or the Godhead orchestrated this on behalf of mankind. God so loved the world. That's what John 3.16 says. He loved us, right? And it's not a passive love. It is an active love. And in him loving us, the Bible says, he gave his only begotten son, his only unique son, his, his, unique, his one and only son. And the Bible also says, um, not only did God love and, and give, but because of that love and because of that gift, we have eternal life. As long as we accept this gift, as long as we believe in this gift, and this gift is Jesus Christ. That's all we have to do. That's all we are called to do, is just believe, it's just to accept. You have nothing to do um, in this process except to surrender to him. So as we focus on all these different things, as we, you know, hang with family and friends, you know, doing the whole social distancing thing, of course, and making sure that we protect ourselves from this um, virus, let's keep in mind that the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. We give ourselves to God. We give ourselves to others because people are in need. People are hungry. People are suffering. People are lonely and we can give them an encouraging word during this time. Just wanted to share this word with you. I hope it is a blessing to you. Remember to stay strong in the Lord and remember only what you do for Christ will last.